Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we are trying the Noah's Mill. The Noah's Mill is a Kentucky straight bourbon from the house of Willett. So it's a brand of the Willett distillery. But um, it's also one of these <laughs> whiskies that I got from Crazy Mike. If you're in America and you're in the business, you might know him. He's the like the importer for um, yeah premium American whiskey. Let's say it that way. It's a, a brand of Willet, which they they are a smaller distillery. They are premium, and is one of their brand, and is a, a different mash bill. They use a different mash bill for that one. They use the pot stills. Um, it get matured in Kentucky. Straight, uh, in Kentucky, it's a small batch, uh, fifty-seven percent alcohol, and with small batch, um, it's America. Small is a bit different in America than than in the rest of the world. This doesn't mean that you just have like one or three or two barrels, but a small batch means that you. Yeah, you blend more barrels uh, in, together in a in a cask strength way. Let's say that way. Yeah, so it's it's not a cask strength because you have more barrels, which is strange. Usually in in Scotland, you could call it cask strength if you put more barrels into it. So it's a small batch. They, either way, it's a, they call it a small batch. It's a high strength one. What will they water it down? Probably a little bit. Usually. You water it down to get the same ABV to uh, to have the same product that you can yeah don't have to register for exporting and stuff uh, or every time new so probably they do water down a little bit that's why the the term small batch whiskey is probably more suitable for them. Um, these the Noah's Mill used to be a bit older. The Noah's Mill used to be in the in the past used to be yeah, six years old, older there, 12 years old whiskeys from, from there. Um, usually nowadays it is a, a five year old whiskey. Still, for uh, a whiskey from America that is older. Yeah. I've just recently had the, the uh, Willet Pot Still Reserve and comparing it to that because yeah, same production. Um, it is a bit there. It probably is more rye in there. Yeah, probably is more rye as it is more hefty, more spicy, more volume. The the bullet pot still reserve was a typical light, normal, well made um, Kentucky straight bourbon, where this one is a, a robust one. This one is a one with more heart, with more spiciness, with yeah, more rye in it. Oh, and in the nose, you still have a bit of a yeah, more of that traditional uh, Kentucky straight bourbon feeling when you swallow it. You feel um, is that rye? So, yeah. Mike, Mike put that on yeah 20, 22% rye. I would even go down f as far as f 15 because rye is very intense. Even small amount of rye can potentially have a big effect on your whiskey. So uh, with with high amounts of rye, it, it's not as, the difference between 20 and, 10 and five is a lot higher than the difference between, let's say, 65 in a rye whiskey and let's say 85. Mm. Well, st strangely enough, when you smell it again, it's very pleasant again. Mm. 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 I like it. It's very well made. But it's 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 a nice step up, step up from the uh, Willet Pot Still Reserve, where it's much more robust, much more hefty. I guess also a little bit older, so you have more tannins of the woods in there. You feel it. Okay, I've I've tried a, a fair amount of whiskeys before I had this one, so a little bit of peltiness on my my mouth. So, but be aware if you have more whiskeys above fifty percent, which I had quite now. 
uh, then you do get that feeling in there. So it's more robust, it's heftier, not quite the beginner's whiskey, but it is nice to, to have it side by side with the Willet Pot Still Reserve. As you can say, see where uh, a different mash bill and a bit more maturation leads you. Yeah. So if you're interested in the Noah's Mill straight bourbon, um, then have a look at whiskey.com. Uh, we do sell to Germany, Austria, the Netherlands and Belgium. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.